What's up, my hames? Today is for the street dogs. Hence my Hesh street look today. Grape slush, street extraordinaire. Never landed a buttercup in my life. It's because I'm street. Today, for the street dogs, we're gonna be doing top five street decks. Today, as I told you, top five street decks. Bottom four, no order, they're all in the same. They all got second place. They all tied four-way tie for second place. First place, got first place, all right? So we'll just go with this guy first. Pandemonium. Say it with me, kids. Pandemonium. When the Pandemonium first dropped, it definitely kind of changed what potentially could be a street deck. Doesn't have the completely flat sides, but won't hurt your hand. Two grind rails on the bottom that aren't super fat. And the most important thing it changed was the weight. This thing is, I believe, 4.8 by 22.5. So it's a huge deck and it's one of the lightest. It's using a nylon brake, which is kind of ch cheating for weight. Um, but if you're a lot better of a rider than me and you don't use your brake, you don't care if it's nylon or you take it off. Awesome spacers in the back, available in trans black, matte black, and this cool polished. And Ethic is always just changing the game with their designs. Let's go ahead and weigh it just so you can see what I'm talking about. 2 pounds, 12 ounces. About the only thing y'all can complain about today is that it doesn't have square dropouts, but come on, we did it for a decade without them. I like pegs, so I'd ride pegs on this. Ethic makes fat pegs. Grinds are fun. So let's get this guy out of here. The next deck up, we're gonna kinda take it to the other end of the spectrum. We had the light one before, now we have the tank. And just while I still remember 2 pounds, 12 ounces, I just wanna compare it. What? <laughs> 4 pounds, 4 ounces. So this isn't the tank for nothing, dog. This is the uh, Phoenix Ion right here. It is fully five inches, 22 long. And this thing, at least this design with the full front head tube, hollow beneath, interesting design on the welding, the mounting to the extrusion, is one of the strongest decks I've ever ridden. I couldn't actually break mine. It went to a couple of other riders. Zach Poon even rode it and it survived Zach Poon. Went on to someone else and I got mine used, I think too. So I think like four people rode one of these decks and it might even still be alive. Um, foot space, oh my God, the tank just destroyed my knee. 15 and a quarter inches. If we wanna be generous, we could say a half if you bump it all the way back here. And we're not going from the weld, we're going from the head tube because you could put your foot there. And that is also tied for second, the Phoenix Ion. Heaviest deck probably in this, but the strongest, guys. Let me know if uh, your mom's looking for a sexy beast like this. Lock and low, baby. <laughs> God. Hopefully you edit this, not James, because he's gonna kill me. A new guy on the block. My washer unboxing of this. Um, I was gonna just grab the Dan Barrett because I really like the red and black. I said, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> this is top five street decks. Um, and the fuller is a whole inch longer. So this guy is five by 23. One of the longest decks on the market. Really strong head tube here. For the weight of it, I was concerned with banana-ing. Um, I haven't ridden the 23 and they're still pretty new. So I don't know, the 23 is gonna be a little bit more prone to banana-ing, bananaizing. Easy access to your brakes here. Great design dropouts. One of the best dropouts in the game, I think. Everyone else should steal their design. Uh, I'm sorry, Dom at Aztec. You have a great design and it should, if you're doing a square back end, this should be the industry standard. Three pounds, 13.5 ounces, tied for second place. These guys are all killing it. Now my last tie for second place, Ethic getting two on this list. This is from the 12 standard kit. They sell the Icono class deck separately. This is basically just like the beefier, bigger brother of the Pandemonium. It can fit both the 12 standard wheels. You also have all this hardware included to switch over to your standard axle size. You can run the 12 standard if you wanna try it out and then go back to normal. So that's why this bad boy made it on the list. Two pounds, 14 ounces practically. So yeah, dude, almost as light as the Pandemonium. And let's check out how big this guy is. Hmm, I don't know if, they market it as five, but I'm gonna say that's 4.9. This deck is 4.9, so not in the five club. And it is 22.75, almost 23. Ooh, 
you are getting less foot space than the pandemonium on this guy. So foot space is a key for you and you're not gonna run the 12 standard line. Maybe this isn't the deck for you. It is 15 and a quarter inches of foot space and the pandemonium was closer to 16. Part of that is because with the bigger wheels, they had to cut into the deck a little bit here. And this head tube design probably takes up just a smidgen more space just to maintain strength. So there we go. That is my last second place right here. Guys, we had a four-way tie. Let's take a look at our, our four-way tie real quick. These are four of your top five street decks as the market currently sits. And when you think street decks, and you look at my top four right here, something's missing. So many street riders riding it. Boys at the vault ride it. Everybody loves it. It is the paramount, guys. No top street deck list is complete without something from TSI. The threshold was amazing. The sledge, five inches wide, but the paramount is the quintessential street deck with its amazing amount of nose blunt space, foot space, overall design, American made, just one of the pioneers, the original aftermarket deck. TSI will always be at the top of our hearts, top of our minds, and the top of this top five street deck list. In all seriousness, uh, TSI, Paramount, phenomenal deck, really lightweight. Didn't really change the game. Someone else has done it before with a thinner profile, but they made it really stick. The other decks came and went. The Paramount is going nowhere. Uh, the only drawback with the Paramount is the durability factor here. Uh, the Paramount might be the least longest life out of these top five decks due to the head tube design. They're toying with some new designs here, but with those new designs, you might lose all this beautiful nose blunt space and this extra foot space. So I think it's a fair trade off. It's pretty average for someone to get um, two to six months out of these guys. And if having the best feeling deck is what you guys need, Paramount is totally worth it. And you're supporting USA, baby. So that's three pounds, 10 ounces. That puts it into one of the lightest street decks we have. And if you haven't ridden a TSI, you don't really know what I mean by saying it's the best feeling deck. Um, nose blunts, I mean, I cannot stress it enough. It is prime. You got 16 and a half inches. So it's got the longest foot space out of these decks and it's only a 22. All right guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up for me. Got a little crazy out here today. Uh, microphone in the dreads. These sweet new vault hipster shades on. It's got a little bit of gold on my wrist. Shout out to Pops out there, RIP. And shout out to you guys for watching. Let us know what you want to see next. We could go street, we could go park. We could go anywhere you want. Later guys.